Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel my name is joshua daniel george and in this video i'm going to show you a unique way on how to get e-commerce clients for your social media marketing agency no i don't waste no time Okay guys and welcome to the video. So as I already mentioned in the introduction today I'm going to be showing you guys a unique way of how you can basically get in contact with uh, e-com stores and you know offer them Facebook advertising. Now before we begin quick disclaimer I have not made up this method um, you know this method is tried and true I see a lot of um, people out there doing it but with that said there are also a lot of people that are unfamiliar with this method and this approach. Now what we are basically going to be doing is we're going to be looking at Amazon for our like basically our method of getting in touch with e-com stores. Why Amazon? Because with Amazon, uh, you've obviously got Amazon FBA, which stands for Fulfillment by Amazon, which basically allows people to um, ship their products to the Amazon store and then Amazon do the rest. So they do the fulfillment, they uh, make sure that um, you know all of the products are in stock because basically you send it you know, to their warehouses, uh, etc. So uh, they hold all your stock and storage and they also do the fulfillment of it. And all you need to do basically is make sure that you send the products to Amazon. Now, why is this a bad thing or why you know what are the cons basically attached to uh, Amazon FBA well first of all you're not allowed to create an email list so the sales that are made on Amazon you do not get the contact details from a person which means you cannot create lookalike audiences which means you cannot retarget those people if you have different types of items like of the same niche for sale you can't send them like some kind of offer and so on and so forth so you are very very reliant on Amazon for the sales and you know, Amazon, you know, you got, I don't need to explain how crowded it is on Amazon. Your competition is fierce because you can always compare the products to other items uh, that are similar and see which one is the cheapest or which one has the most reviews. So you're very, very reliant on the reviews, um, how many people are basically, you know, offering a similar product and so on and so forth. So it's very crowded. Competition is fierce. You cannot um, basically gather email or data from the the customers that you get so like I said you are completely reliant on Amazon and Amazon might even move your product from the first page to the third page uh, or fourth page so from first to third or fourth and then you've basically lost your unique selling point which is being on the first page of Amazon and your sales might even plummet because of it but you've already invested on the front end um, by sending the products to the Amazon warehouses. So, you know, in the end, um, you're sitting there with stock that you've already paid for, but no purchases are coming in. So basically what we're going to be doing now is offering these people a, almost like a unique perspective to diversify um, the way they are getting sales for their products. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking on the Amazon website and finding stores or finding products that we can then reach out to and say, hey, you know, you um, have your products on Amazon, but I know an, a unique way to diversify how you're getting sales and also build up an email list, which is another asset in the background. Quick mention, um, obviously due to the coronavirus, uh, there are delayed delivery times, etc. I have done some research um, into this and even though, yes, at one point the coronavirus did sort of affect um, the sort of whole FBA business model, now it's no longer the case. And Amazon actually have um, got like or made available more storage space um, for those that want to do fulfillment by Amazon. So that, you know, because they obviously know that more people are indoors, so more people are going to be on the Amazon website, more people are going to order, and so on and so forth. So, what we're going to do now, because I'm obviously rambling on here, we are basically going to look for products that we can potentially um, or look for products that have a specific brand that we can then potentially reach out to. So as you can see here, this is the first page of Amazon um, and this, so these batteries um, are obviously from Amazon itself, but 71,000 reviews, um, which means that to have that many reviews, you're going to have to have at least 700,000 sales to get that many reviews. Um, so that's sort of the way we can gauge if products are successful or not. By the way, this is another thing that um, there's a lot of like uh, discussion about. 
Like, there's nothing basically stopping Amazon from looking at best-selling items that you are potentially promoting and then just creating their own version of it. You know, because they can easily promote their own items on the first page. So let's say, for example, you have a, I don't know, a iPhone case, a phone case, and it's doing really well. What's stopping Amazon from seeing that, creating their own, and putting their own on top of the, you know, like basically on top of that list. So that's I just want to quickly interrupt this video and mention that if you are serious about social media marketing and you want to start your own social media marketing agency, or maybe you already have one and you want to take it to the next level, I have my own coaching program where I teach you guys exactly how to do that. So how to start your own agency, how to reach out to clients and get meetings on autopilot with my hybrid outreach system, how to close the meeting and how to get results for your clients, how to automate it and scale it so that you too can live life on your own terms. If you are interested in that, all you need to do is click on the link in the description box down below where we can hop on a quick 15 minute call to see if you are a right fit for the program. If you are, I will offer you a spot on the program. It is a coaching program, so not just a done for you course. I will literally teach you my methods and how I was able to start my own social media marketing agency and scale it to six figures within 14 days. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, click on that first link in the description box down below. Like I said, we'll hop on a quick call, see if we're right fit for each other and potentially move forward from there. This is just another little thing that you need to um, look out for. So basically what we're going to be doing now is looking for items that can potentially um, become or be promoted on other platforms. So what I'm basically looking for is something that is not on Amazon Basics, which almost all these items are, oh, because we're actually filtered on Amazon Basics. Let me just quickly um, find another category. Isn't there like a, oh, today's top deals, maybe here we can find something that is better. Wait for it to load. Wireless charger, that could be a good one. Um, anchor wireless charger is another one. So for example, wireless chargers um, are items that can easily be promoted with Facebook ads and you know are basically everyday items that almost everyone needs and or wants. Um, so I've just found two here. This one is called um, Anchor. Is that the name of the store? Anchor Direct. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll try and find Anchor Direct um, on Facebook. There we go. Let's see if that is available as an actual brand. Anchor Direct, Anchor Direct Mongolia. I'm not 100% sure that is, uh, that is it. Anchor, let's see if that is it. Charge everything faster. Okay, so that is actually a, um, a store. Now let's see if they are running ads. They are running ads, okay, that's interesting. So either someone is uh, beating us to it or these guys are already diversifying. Let me go to the about page, see if they've actually got a website, which they do. Let me just double check if this is, uh, okay, so Anchor, Anchor Direct. Okay, yeah, so this is actually the same, the same brand. So these people, or this store has um, got a website, and they also are running Facebook ads. Let's see what the what they're currently doing. Save twenty five percent off, and they are sending it to the actual store, right? Okay, so there's not really much that we can do for these guys. Let me just wait for that to load. Ah, okay, so this is the actual O2 shop. That's interesting. So they're not sending it to their actual website, they're sending it to O2. Um, okay, so there's not really much. I think this is like an actual large brand, so there's not too much we can do for these guys. What was the other one called? Utech, Utech Direct. Okay. Let me see if we can actually find this. Um, click on Utech. Okay, so let's try and find these guys on Facebook as well. See if this is a better option. That's the only downside to doing things like this live. Um, sometimes you will find stores that aren't um, necessarily the ones that are the right fit. So, okay, so Utech has a Facebook page. Are these guys running ads? They are not running ads. Okay, so that's a good sign for us. Then when we go to the About page, have they got a website? Just waiting for that to load. There we go. Okay, so they do have a website, but they are not running ads. 
Okay, so that is the exact the same brand that we saw before, isn't it? Because as you can see here, same logo. Now, let me just open this in Firefox so we can see what the Pixel Helper has to say. Copy, paste. There we go, waiting for that to load. Um, they do not have the Pixel installed, but my ad blocker is probably blocking it. So what we'll do is we'll uh, do not run on any pages of this website, exclude this website from the ad blocker, and then see if they have the Facebook Pixel installed, which they do. So as you can see here, they have the Facebook Pixel installed. Um, but they're not running ads. So somewhere deep down, they understand, okay, you know, it is necessary to diversify. It is necessary to have the Facebook pixel on the website, but they have not yet found it necessary to run Facebook advertisements. So what I'm going to just double check is, first of all, I want to see is this Shopify. So let me just reload this. For this, I use the Wappalizer tool. And as you can see, this is a Shopify store, which is good. Why? Because Shopify just easily and seamlessly syncs with Facebook which means that, um, if I'm not mistaken, the pixel should be installed correctly on every page as well, which saves us a lot of time and a lot of effort. So as you can see here, add to cart, they've detected a button click. So if you now proceed to checkout, that should change to initiate checkout as well. Just waiting for that to load. So they've detected the button click to initiate checkout, but does the initiate checkout button fire? This is what we'll find out. There we go, initiate checkout. So the the tracking is on point. They've got a Shopify store. They are promoting it on Amazon. They have over 25,000 reviews on Amazon. This is the wrong one, my apologies. There we go. So they have over 42,000 reviews. And like I said, you know, for them to get 42,000 reviews, they must have at least 200, 300,000 uh, people purchase for them to come back and leave a review. Because usually one in 10 people leave a review unless you have some kind of um, giveaway or something going on that entire you know it basically uh, entices them to leave a review so we know these people are making money we know these people see the necessity of basically running Facebook ads because otherwise they wouldn't have the pixel installed they already have a Shopify store but they are not running any type of ads so what we can now do um, there we go go to home pay transparency go to ad library we can then send a screenshot of this where it says they're no, not running any ads. And then what we can do is we can send a screenshot of Anchor and say, look, you know, even though these people are not doing as well as you in terms of sales on Amazon, these guys are going ham on Facebook ads. And um, you know, these people are building up an email list in the background and so on and so forth. You can compare the two and basically say, you know, if something were to happen with Amazon with a potential second wave with Corona, anything like that, uh, these people are not completely reliant on Amazon. All they need to do is send out an email blast to the emails that they've generated saying, hey guys, um, we're having some issues with our Amazon store, so order directly from the website. Here's an extra coupon, here's 25% off, and so on and so forth. And that way, they can direct all that traffic that they otherwise would lose on the Amazon website to their actual store. So this is basically how you can um, reach out to these people on that are promoting on Amazon uh, and basically ask them if they want to diversify the sales by also offering uh, or by also running Facebook ads in the background. And you know these people have money for it because you can see by the amount of reviews, etc., that they are getting and the amount of sales that they are making on Amazon. Now, in terms of how to reach out to these businesses, uh, let me just remove Anchor here because we're not going to be reaching out to these people. Um, there are a few ways of doing that. We can send them a message here on Facebook. Um, the only issue with that is that we can't actually be under the request section so they won't actually get a notification from us the first time we send a message uh, more often than not it sort of ends up in the in the requested section and then there's no way um like i said there's no notification going to the potential um, client however we can still try it out so we can send them a message um and what i would do when i'd send a message i'll basically say hey um i have some ideas uh, or we can ask them a question. Hey, I was just wondering if you were satisfied with your current social media efforts. Um, I have some ideas that I'd love to run by you 
is it okay if I send you a quick video about this? Okay, now this is just off the top of my head, guys. I have no idea if that actually works or not. So you know, please come up with your own script. But that's just something along the lines of what I would send. Um, and then basically see how they reply. If they say, yeah, sure, send it over. I can send them a Loom video. And then in the Loom video, I can say, hey, listen, if you want to know more about this, let's hop on a call. And that is basically how I would do it. So from there, so actually, see, guys, these are active because they've already seen the get started, um, which is good. Now, if they don't reply to the Facebook message, which I think in this case they will do because they've seen it, then we can see if they have an email address, which in this case uh, they do not. So usually on the Facebook page, if you go to the about section, you'll see their email address here. Now, another thing we can do, let me just copy this. So copy link location, go back to Chrome because I have a Chrome extension for this, not an actual Firefox extension. Um, so what we can now do is we can use hunter.io, which is a free plugin to see if they have any email addresses on the website, which in this case they do not. So there is no email available to us at this moment in time, maybe at the bottom. Let's check the about us page. No, okay, so up until now, we only have the Facebook Messenger method of um, getting in contact with these guys. So what we'll do then is go to IU Tech and see if they are available in any other platform. No, nope. let's try LinkedIn. Are you tech? Nope, does not exist. So we only have Facebook up until now. Are you tech? See if it exists. No results found, which is Okay, interesting. So we don't have the Instagram or the Instagram does not exist. So the only, okay, just do you have a, actually have a support button? Let me see if that works. If not, we'll have to stick to Facebook. So much for the support button. Okay, so how to reach out to these guys? Facebook Messenger is um, the only method, but like I said, they are active because as you can see here, they are seen and you can see with a little green button here that they are online as well. Then as you can see here, we have team members. Um, um, okay, so this is Chinese. So what you could do if this is a team member, you can add this person as a friend and send them a message as well. Make sure you do that in that order. So do not send them a message first because like I said, you will end up in the request section. If you add them as a friend and they accept you and you send then send them a message, you'll pop up like this. And that is basically what you want uh, to do. So this is, a, like I said, a unique way of reaching out to potential e-com clients by going onto Amazon, looking through the brands, seeing what the name is of the brand, seeing if they have a website and or Facebook page or another way of contacting the owner of the brand and then suggesting that they diversify their sales by also running Facebook ads. So that is all I have got for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave the video with a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next video.